What up everyone? Jack Slater, the Comcal Law, coming to you from parts unknown, traveling through the multiverse. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, now I remember a time when Make Mine Marvel was more than just a catchphrase. Really meant something. Marvel at one point was the man, and I know kids growing up now don't understand what I'm saying, but there was a glorious time in the 90s, early 80s, when uh, they were releasing a book called X-Men Classic, and you got all the classic tales from X-Men, um, like right around the like start of Chris Claremont's work, and it's just like reprinting all the old stories. And it, it was a wonderful book. And then you got Modern X-Men. And being exposed to that, you got kind of the whole backstory, like a rich history of X-Men. There was a time, there was a time when it was glorious to be a comic book fan. Now you just have to struggle through the plot holes and wonder what the fuck is going to happen from time to time while the universe keeps getting screwed with and bent over. Such a sad world we live in. But it is. I mean, where's my Marvel? Where's the Marvel that I used to love and rely on? Now, I understand things must change, and the all new, all different Marvel was a sort of experiment. And I understand, like, certain things are necessary. Like, uh,. Like certain change, like uh, I didn't mind Miles Morales, the story was flushed out. I didn't mind other characters kind of stepped in. The Falcon, for example, is Captain America. I didn't mind that, but the fact that they had to drown out every old Marvel character, kill everyone off. And now they're doing a reboot to bring back the old guys that they killed off before. And don't get me wrong, I miss Logan. You know, I miss Wolverine. He's one of my favorite characters. Marvel, bar none, all time. But it just seems kind of ham hock. Now that he has an Infinity Stone, instead of a gem, it was called an Infinity Jam at first. You don't believe me, do your research. You know, and they're sort of bringing it back, but they're not and then, and then again they might it just seems a tad cliche at this point I mean it seems like they're trying to make the same blunder that DC did with Convergence you know and, and I, like the Immortal Hulk thing is interesting but I don't know it just you know, they, they should just, like, reset the universe and just bring it back to the status quo. I mean, Franklin Richards is more than capable of doing that. And speaking of which, I hope the Marvel team-up thing is not a cock tease and they are bringing back the Fantastic Four. That would be awesome. It'd make more sense. They could probably explain what the hell is going on with this current universe and what's going to be going on. Well, like I said before, I mean, the sad part was is that they decided to kill it all off in the first place. I mean, it, like I said, I understand change. I understand that things have to change, but where's my marble? I mean, like, for God's sake, even the cartoons, you know, they, they stick more to the comic book than the comic books do. I mean, it's horrible when Ultimate Spider-Man is literally better than some of the other stuff coming out. Granted, Dan Slott's run was great. There was a lot of good stuff. But Marvel, in a lot of issues, has been dropping the ball. I mean, overall, aside from a few shining stars, the all-new, all-different Marvel thing was a fail. Otherwise, they wouldn't be trying to bring everything back. They wouldn't be doing the hunt for Wolverine. They wouldn't be doing this and that. So we're going to see where that goes. Maybe they'll do a mix of old and new, kind of like what they did had the last time, only not. 
maybe Laura Kenny will remain Wolverine. And that'd be cool to just have Wolverine as Logan. And that would open up another issue. Just Logan. Have her as Wolverine. I mean, like, uh, I don't know what happened to old man Logan, though. But we'll see what happens. Like I said, we're living in a world where the X-Men characters from the 60s are brought back from this time and exist now. And they tried going back home, but they were replaced by something else that was replaced before. Uh, Marvel, you have a very funny, funny way of doing time travel. Uh, it's like time travels Kermit the Frog and you just stick your hand up there and try to work it any way you can. Like Jim Henson. Sad. But anyways, like I said before, where is my Marvel? I mean, the movies are okay. They skip a beat here and there. Like some of them, like the trilogies really, really kind of just drag on. And I think that's just writers kind of like not understanding the movies like the whole blunder with the mandarin for example in iron man 3 it was just sad and i know people want to change things they want to add like a little more panage to it but don't do it at the expense of the comic book or the character i mean add it to the story add more drama to the story don't ruin the character be like well i have an idea I think Magneto ought to be a VCR salesman from the Bronx instead of being an abused Jew in a Nazi camp, giving him his lifetime motivation. You see, there's certain things you just don't mess with. And I think fundamentally Marvel has been doing that. The whole Captain America Hydra story where it was cool, you know, like he was a bad guy. And then he came back. Well, a version of him kind of came back to the Cosmic Cube and he whooped his ass. It was okay, but it, it just wasn't him. And believe me, yours truly has fought that bastard once or twice. It just wasn't him. Maybe they should stop making the stories for this person or this age group or trying to say this statement or that statement and just make it marvel. Just make it Marvel. Come on, guys. Don't you don't need to write for this genre or do what Disney tell you. Just make it Marvel. Do what it is you guys do. I mean, has it been so many years you guys forgotten about that? Establish a storyline, and if some issues don't work, then cancel them. Cancel them for a while. If the Hulk issue thing isn't working, bring them up in like team ups, stuff like that. That's what I loved about Marvel Comic Presents back in the old days. You got a barrage of different characters. Annuals, annuals were good for that too. That's what the Avenger comics were for. That's what these other things for for introducing new characters and trying them out, or giving old ones a stable until they're popular again. Even villains. It's sad. I have to tell Marvel how to do their job. And I'm not even getting paid for it. Well, at least not yet, anyways. But look, Marvel, I've loved you. I've loved a lot of the stuff that you've done, but don't try to be Hollywood. Don't try to be Big Disney. Just be Marvel. And please, fix this time shit. And X Men, fix this time shit in the multiverse. Fix. Fix your time problem because, ugh, man, so many accuracies, so many plot holes. I mean, fix something, do something. Don't do what you think is popular. Just do what's right by the reader, and don't insult our intelligence because we'll always be there. Good story, bad story. The true fans will, but we deserve good stories. We don't just want action-packed stuff. We want storylines. We love these characters. And we want these characters to be more engaged with us. And we want our old characters, but we want to take a step forward as well. Maybe you shouldn't have pushed it as hard. Maybe you should think about that, Marvel. But 
Until then, this is Josh Slater, the comic outlaw, saying to make my marvel. If you know what I mean, if you catch that reference. Well, true believers, I'm heading out. If you like what you heard, hit the subscribe button, ring that little ding, ding, ding bell, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.